Statistics and Excel. Scatter plots with car related data. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet so you could start with a blank worksheet. But if you do have access to this workbook, three tabs down below. Example, practice, blank. Example, in essence, answer key. Practice tab, having pre-formatted cells in it so you can get right to the heart of the practice problem. Blank tab, just having the data within it so that we can practice formatting as we work through the practice problem. Let's go to the example tab to get an idea of the end result. We're gonna take our data, we're gonna sort our data in a table, then we're gonna be making scatter plots from the data. Now the scatter plot will typically be taking two sets of data and trying to determine whether there be a relationship between the sets of data, the independent variable typically on uh, the X or horizontal, the dependent on the Y, or the vertical. We'll create the scatter plot a couple different ways. One way, we will just take the data and copy and paste it, and that way it can, we can easily put in the scatter plot. And the second way, we'll try to take our full data table over here and select the cells we want for the scatter plot. We'll also do another one comparing in a similar fashion uh, miles per gallon and acceleration and have a similar scatter plot. All right, let's go to the blank tab to get into it. Now we have a lot of data over here. So if you don't have access to this data, I believe we got this data from uh, Kaggle. So you can go into there and search for the data related to automobiles and possibly find this one there. Or you can copy the data set from here if you want to type in the data set. It's quite a long uh, data set. Or you could do your own research for data set from a, a similar uh, a similar set of statistics here for this type of data set or you could try to create the data set although this would be a more complex one to do that with all right so i'm going to scroll up top and i'm going to delete this item so we have our data on the left so i pulled this data in it's formatted nicely because it's all in a vertical table for us already so what i would like to do is put a table around it now and and then i can sort my data more easily so before i do that however let me format the cells like I do basically every time. I'm gonna put my cursor on the triangle up top, selecting the entire sheet, right click the selected area, formatting the cells. I usually go to currency and then I go to uh, negative numbers bracketed and red, get rid of the dollar sign. And then you gotta look and say, do I need decimals? And for most of these, we don't need decimals except for possibly the acceleration. So what I'm going to do is take the decimals off by default and then maybe go into this column and add them back in for this particular column. And so I'm going to say, okay, let's do that. That's my underlying format. I can then select this data set, G, the entire column. If I want to add decimals, home tab, number, possibly add a couple, couple decimals there. So now we have it nice and number formatted. Then I'm going to put my cursor somewhere in the table. And by the way, let's make it bold too. I'm going to select the entire thing again. Home tab, font, bold it. And then I'm going to center the header rows so that Excel knows that these are headers. Home tab, uh, alignment, and uh, center them. You might also want to wrap the text, alignment, wrapping the text, so that now you can see you know, the whole thing, in, even though you've got a squished up even though they're, they're kind of squished up here. So you got it wrapped. <laughs> All right, let's put our cursor in somewhere in the data set. I'm going to go to the insert tab, tables, and add a table as we have seen in the past. Now the dancing ants are going all the way from A1 to uh, uh, H39. So notice only two cells are necessary to, to grab this whole table. Also note that when there's missing data, like this blank piece right there. Sometimes you might want to go in and put a zero there or something so that you don't have nothing in the cell because when you have nothing in the cell, that could mess up uh, your tables and whatnot when you create the tables. So I'm going to say, uh, okay. So there is our table. 
All right, so we want to make a scatter uh, plot now, and the scatter plots are found in the insert tab, and then the charts group, and then we've got our dots here. Here's the scatters. So now the question is, well, we need two sets of data. So when we were looking at the histograms, we were usually looking at you know one set of data and thinking about the midpoint of the histogram and the spread. Now we want to take a look at the relationship uh, between two sets of data. So first, let's think about horsepower and the miles per gallon. And so then the question would be, well, do you want the horsepower on the X axis or do we want it on the Y? Do we want it on the, on the horizontal or on the vertical? The horizontal is, is, uh, is usually gonna be what we would call the dependent and the vertical, the independent, although you can kind of see it the other way uh, too, we're plotting the two against each other. But so the easiest way to do this, if I want the, the horsepower on the horizontal, making it the dependent variable traditionally, I'm gonna uh, copy that and I'm going to put that over here in J. So I copied the whole column. I could select the whole column like this and control C or right click and copy. I'm going to put that in J1 and right click and paste. So there we have it. I can paste it like that. So there we have our horsepower. And then I want to pick up the miles per gallon. So I'm going to pick up this one. I'm going to select the entire column putting my cursor on B, selecting the entire column. You could say control C on the keyboard or right click and copy. And then you could say control V on the keyboard or right click and paste. So there we have it. So there's our variables we want. Now, again, if I wanna put a table around uh, just these variables, I can put my cursor here and insert tab and in the tables group table. And hopefully again, the dancing ants go all the way down to the bottom of the table. They do, I'm gonna hit okay. So there is our table. So now we can sort our table. They're kind of together now. These two data sets are kind of together. So I can then sort it this way. I can say from A to Z on the horsepower or from Z to A on the horsepower. And I can take the miles per gallon and take it from A to Z or uh, Z to A. Uh, in this fashion as well. And, the, and the, so, so we can sort it in that way. And now if they have them side by side here, it's really easy for me to enter the scatter plot because now I can just simply select these two items. Now, of course, there's a couple ways you could do that. You could select the entire thing, scrolling down like this. Uh, but that, so, and then if you do that, once you enter the scatter, you don't want to be down here because then your scatter plot will be input down here and you'll have to drag it up. So you want to go all the way back up to the top. But you might want, if you have a table, you can kind of, you can click, if you click where you